Hi, my name is Kiraz, and I'm a Software Engineering Manager on Microsoft Clarity. In this video, we will cover the watchlist feature on the dashboard. This is a custom feature that prioritizes your goals so you can reach them faster. On our dashboard, you can already easily see high-level information about your users and sessions, like a device breakdown, top URLs, new users, and so on. But what about a breakdown of how things combine? Say you're trying to grow your mobile users in the UK, or you want to see how your users are converting on a specific campaign, or there's a bug on your page that you want to make sure is no longer occurring. With the watch list, you can do these and much more so you can track against your site goals. Watch list is a customizable tile on the dashboard. You can add three types of data to your watch list, segment, custom tag, or label. First, let me quickly introduce you to what these are. At their core, all three allow you to track and get to the sessions you care about faster. Segments are groups of filters you save so you can quickly get to the same set later. To find out more about how to use them, you can watch our filters video. Custom tags are key value pairs that you programmatically tell us about. For example, you can tag a session with key, feature, and value new header. To find out more about custom tags, you can watch our custom filters video. Labels are quick pieces of information you can add to any recording. For example, you can label recordings as confused user, successful behavior, weird bug, and so on. You can add these labels in the more details section for any recording or in the modal that pops up at the end of each recording. Let's go back to the example we talked about at the beginning of the video. Say you want to grow your mobile users in the UK. You should create a segment for device, mobile, and country, United Kingdom, to get started. Once we have this segment, go to the watch list tile on your dashboard, click on Add to Watch List. It'll ask you the type of data to track. For our example, we'll choose Segment and then pick our segment, UK Mobile Users. You'll immediately see the values for the segment. You can use it like this without clicking on Add to instantly view various data points you care about. But we know we want to track this segment long term, so we will click on Add. All watch list items will show you the number of sessions, link to recordings and heat maps, and the percentage of your sessions with the current filters under this segment. For example, if you have last three days as your only filter, the watch list will tell you what percent of your whole traffic for the last three days was under this segment. If you have last three days and rage clicks as your filters, then it'll tell you what percentage of rage clicks in the last three days came from mobile users in the UK. This can also help you identify problem segments. As a tip, your watch list is unique to you. Your teammates do not see the same list. So you can add anything you want on it without having to worry about affecting your teammates' experience. Now that you know how you can use the watch list and leverage it to track against your goals, I hope it helps you achieve them all. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.